Let's debug this sample program. If we click on this thrown exceptions tab over here, we can see that a null pointer exception was thrown on our program. If we select that exception and we click this jump to time button, it will jump to the point in time when that null pointer exception was thrown. And uh, we can even see that the method history view shows that this method returned abnormally because an exception was thrown here. Now let's look at the stack view to view the actual stack trace of this exception. We can see that there are multiple threads in this program. One thing to notice is that unlike the stack trace of a normal exception, which shows only the stack trace of the thread in which that exception was thrown, the stack view of the Cronon debugger shows you not only the stack trace of the thread in which the exception was thrown, but the stack trace of all the other threads at that point in time. So here we can see uh, that the main thread was sleeping at this point when this exception was thrown in the worker thread. So let's see, this is a null pointer exception and it was thrown on this line. Uh, let's see what the value of foo is. So foo is null over here and that's why the null pointer exception was thrown. Let's find out how foo became null so that we can find out the root cause of this exception. If we click on foo over here, the variable history view shows me all the values that were ever assigned to foo. Now, if you just look at the timeline view for a second, it shows that the current time is 3801. And the variable history view shows that the value null was assigned to foo at time 3782, which is before the current time, which is 3801. So we know that null was assigned to foo before the current time, and that's why we have this null pointer exception. Now, if we just click on the value null, it will take us to the point in time when null was assigned to foo. And so we have found out the root cause of why foo became null and why the null pointer exception was thrown.